Hey guys, so uh, you're probably out wondering uh, why I'm all goggled up and uh, I got ear pro on. So uh, today, what we're going to do is we're going to we got this old bed frame here, and basically we're going to cut it up so we can make uh, a portable moving station uh, sandblast cabinet. So uh, we're going to use this uh, angle steel, cut it up to length. We're going to weld it up, and we're going to put out some wheels, which I have around here somewhere. Uh, there's two inch wheels, nothing big, nothing special, um, but it's, at least it's something that we can move around and the wheels are locking. So that's the project we've got going on today, guys. There we go. So uh, we got one bar free. So now we're just going to measure up the sandblaster there and uh, we're going to figure out our first cut. And then we're just going to cut it up and uh, measure the second one, cut it up again. And uh, then we'll end up doing the same thing what we did uh, to this one, to that one over there for the other side. So uh, I'm just going to get a quick measurement. All right, guys, we got our first piece. Just double check the measurements. Bang on. All right, so we'll put our first piece aside. Now we're gonna need uh, pretty much the same one for the back side. But I'm just gonna confirm measurements. Should be the exact same. Sure looks like it. So now we're going to go ahead, we're just going to measure uh, the side pieces, get those marked out, uh, but first we're going to cut this, this other one up and we'll just, uh, it's a repeat of last time so I'll just cut that out, but uh, yeah, I'm going to get the measurements, get this one prepped and uh, we'll get back to you real soon. Perfect. Alright guys, so uh, now we're going to lay it out and uh, we're going to have to cut little little chunks out so we can uh, it'll fit in square and we'll weld it up. So uh, I'm just going to do all the template stuff off camera and then uh, do some more cutting on camera and hopefully get to welding soon. I'm just going to cut right where I got marked out there, that little square. Same on this side. And then I uh, got another one over there that we got to do the same thing for. So uh, let's get cutting and then uh, hopefully we can start to build it.
There we go. So uh, we got the parts all cut up. Well, there we go. Got her welded up. I'm gonna have to take a flap sander to it because uh, it's probably not gonna look too pretty, but uh, at least it'll hold. Uh, I did do my measurements a little off, so uh, we do have a bit of gaps on the bottom there, but uh, I'm not too concerned about that. We're gonna have wheels on anyways, so uh, yeah, I think it's uh, pretty good. So I'm gonna take a better look at it here in a quick second. And uh, if we have to touch up some welds, we will. And uh, we'll clean up some of those welds uh, just with a flap, flap sander there, so. All right, guys, so uh, we're ready for paint. Uh, I drilled out some holes. And on the other side, I don't know if you can see, but I kind of like deburred them a bit. I don't know them, but um, put a little in, in. It indents a bit, so it covers the, the screw. Um, so we're going to be ready for paint. So right here, um, I was off by the thickness of both those. So about a quarter, quarter inch, something like that. So I think these are uh, one, one eighth, something like that. Anyways, I was off a bit, so I just put a little piece in both sides. Uh, we should be good. The reason for that is because uh, this side met up with this side, and I didn't take into consideration the thickness of the material on both sides. So um, we were short just that much. So we just added a little chunk in and uh, we should be good to go now for measurements and yeah we got our wheels there so the next step was we're probably going to uh, paint it so uh, we'll get painting here very shortly job looks pretty good. Okay, so uh, we're going to put you guys down 
and we're going to put the wheels on just like that. So there, we got one wheel on. It's uh, my bolts are really long, so it takes a while to get them on. But uh, one wheel and three more to go. All right, guys. So. Uh, I got all the, the bolts in, well I guess they're screws and got some lock nuts on the back and uh, I just cut them off, trimmed them up so they so the wheel can spin around and uh, yeah so we're uh, about ready to throw the cabinet onto the frame here and uh, I'll probably get my wife to help me with that one just because uh, it's going to be it's going gonna, it's gonna to be two, two person job so uh, yeah Let's uh, let's get that cabinet on, and uh, then we'll see about maybe screwing it down after or bolting it down. But for now, let's just get it on. Hey guys, I guess the camera wasn't rolling, but uh, me and my wife got it on, and it uh, looks pretty good. I know the lighting's not the best in here, but now it's mobile. Look at that. That is definitely an upgrade that you want um, in your garage, not unless you have a bigger shop and you have it stationary and that's the only spot it's going to be. But it's nice to kind of give you a little bit of freedom if you have it in your own personal garage where you don't have a space maybe big enough where you can dedicate that certain area for the sandblast cabinet. You might need to move things around for cleaning and other other things like that. But it is a, it's a pretty much perfect fit all the way around. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. So that is uh, definitely an upgrade that you'll need to, uh, to do, I think. So stay tuned and uh, we got lots of lots more content for this before we uh, start using it. All right, thanks guys for watching. Don't forget, never stop learning.